Uh, good day YouTubers. Uh, I want to give you a quick run through my new stall. Uh, this is my second electric stall I've built uh, with a one meter uh, reflux column and uh, at the top of the column you got the white little probe is a manual um, thermometer and the yellow one, the one with the yellow on goes to the PID controller and then you got your water in and your water out, your cold water in and your hot water out um, this one here is the hot water out uh, got a temperature probe there and it's going to drain into a bucket which I'll show you later on so this is uh, just to show you uh, the amount of water that's coming out of the reflux condenser this is a normal 30 liter urn that I converted cut a hole in the lid and made a silicone seal uh, as you can hear it's currently boiling temperatures on I've got it set at uh, full temperature which is 110 degrees um, hey, this is my double PID controller it's a bit hard to see on the video but I've got it currently set that the top one for the top of the column at 80 degrees currently the temperature on the probe is only 40 degrees then at the bottom one, the bottom one reads the boiler's temperature at the bottom of the of the urn which is currently set at 100 degrees and it's only reading 82 now um, the voltage is 237 volts about 2057 watts and the temperature inside the actual uh, relay is 30 degrees drawing 8.7 amps uh, I've been running it for 32 minutes now and it's been drawing 1.13 kilowatts per hour as you can see the temperature is 83 degrees at the bottom of the boiler and at the top it's uh, still really at 40 degrees this is the manual temperature gauge that I've put on and it's still reading at 26 degrees at the top of the column this black one here that's reading um, the water outlet of the reflux condenser that's going to drain into that stainless steel bucket which is just over there so this is my uh, vertical condenser water condenser that's going to condense all the alcohol vapors back into the liquid and then obviously it runs up to the top right to the top of the uh, reflux condenser where the vapors will come out right there around the bend and down and then back into this uh, final condenser and this is my homemade parrot that I made also a new parrot I built it's got a little vent hole and as you can see the vent hole is high and the overflow uh, I'm going to be catching about 100 moles of uh, the liquid that comes out of it uh, after I've catched the 100 moles uh, which is about the, um, the total length of this parrot it takes it holds about 100 milliliters as you can see the taps open and we'll wait till it falls up and when it when it overflows that's about 100 moles I've got and then we'll start catching 
So as you can see the temperature on the boiler now is 86 degrees it's set at 100 The bottom one is for the bottom of the urn and the top one is for the top of the column We'll read the top of the column's temperature and also the boiler is plugged in on the top one which reads the top temperature which is slowly going up um, I'll show you the water setup so yeah I've got a 6,000 6, litres per hour uh, aqua pump or pond pump and that's just coming out and it's going into a little V clamp, a V um, which I've got currently, it's not on. So this one goes to the start to the bottom inlet, the bottom inlet of the actual condenser, and at the top, that's the one that returns and it goes back into the rescue. As you can see, this is my return, it comes back. So on this section here with the, the wire clamp, the wire tap, if I open this one here, like so, uh, that will let the water through the reflux condenser. And I just regulate it as you can see this is a needle valve and that's how I regulate the water flow with a needle valve that's going the cold water that runs back up into the reflux condenser thanks for watching cheers